Hi guys, this is Prashant Shukla, aka Gastro Guru. By now, you must have watched a lot of my videos that I have posted on YouTube under Gastro Guru, my channel. And so today, we are going to make lobster and shrimp bisque with a twist. So let's start. I have a pan which has been heating up for a few minutes, and to that, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to swirl the pan so it's nicely coated on all sides and in a couple of minutes we're going to add some chopped garlic to it. So the pan is heating up nicely and I can see I can feel that you know it's getting warm the oil is heating up too so to that I'm going to add about four cloves of chopped garlic Now I have reduced the heat a bit because I don't want to, I want to brown the garlic but not burn it. And so to that I'm going to add about a cup and a half of tomato sauce. I'm going to give it a quick stir to mix the garlic into the tomato sauce along with the olive oil. So I'm going to let this simmer and blend in for a couple of minutes and then we'll be adding the rest of the ingredients. I like to keep my stove clean, so that's why I got the oil that spluttered out of the pan. So, as you can see, the olive oil is kind of beginning to rise on the side and onto the top of the tomato sauce. So to that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of unsalted butter. So we're going to slowly blend in the butter. The butter had been out for a little bit, so it's nice and soft, easier to mix into the sauce. The next thing I'm going to add to the sauce is going to be about three fourths of a cup of white wine. So we're going to give it a stir, mix the wine in, and then obviously the wine, you know, is going to reduce a bit, and what's going to be left is a nice white wine flavor and not the alcoholic taste. The next thing I'm going to add to this is shrimp and lobster stock or broth which I made by boiling the shrimp and lobster shells into water and cooked it for about half an hour. So make it give it an authentic seafoody taste. We you know, added the shrimp and lobster stock which we made by adding water and then you know kind of reducing it down after about half an hour. So now as you can see the tomato paste is changing the color a bit and also it's becoming nice and smooth with the addition of white cooking wine and the shrimp and lobster broth. And the next thing I'm going to add is about a teaspoon of salt. Some freshly crushed black pepper. And 
then give it a stir. I like my lobster or shrimp bisque, well, for that matter, any other dish, a bit on the spicier side. So, you know, the amount of crushed red pepper or crushed black pepper you add in depends on how spicy you would like the dish to be. The next thing I'm going to add to that is about half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. So again, this will give our dish a bit of a zing, a little bit of oomph. And I'm going to reduce the heat a bit because I'm going to be adding some key other ingredients and I don't want the sauce to become too thick prematurely. The next thing I'm going to add to this is what they call a soup or seasoning mix and it has fresh oregano, thyme, basil, parsley and this is totally going to enhance the flavor of our lobster and shrimp bisque. We're going to give it a quick stir so that all the herbs are blended in. The next thing that I'm going to add to this is a bit of a heavy cream and that is the twist to my lobster bisque that instead of adding flour to the butter and that will kind of create a bechamel kind of sauce this is going to be more luxurious with the cream added in along with the olive oil and butter and the white wine so I'm slowly going to stir this in because I want to make sure that the color doesn't become too light and white So now you can see by adding the cream instead of that tomatoey red color, now it's taken like this orangey in a hue to it, and the gravy, or the sauce, the lobster bisque is going to taste awesome with the cream, and also it's going to taste smooth and luxurious. Now the final two ingredients that I'm going to add to these are the jumbo shrimp that I have peeled and deveined and the lobster tail which I cooked for boiled for about seven minutes earlier and now it's kind of almost cooked but not quite so we're going to finish the both you know protein in the sauce the peeled and deveined jumbo shrimp and the lobster tail meat which is out of the shell. But before I do that I'm going to give this a quick taste to make sure that the salt and pepper are up to my standard. It's hot so I have to be careful not to burn myself. Yep, this is perfect. It's spicy. It's got perfect amount of salt and pepper and then the herbs are really bringing out this sauce. You know, the flavors are amazing. So here we go. I'm going to add the jumbo shrimp and the lobster tail which has been pre-boiled and 
So I'm going to mix this up. Now, you want to be careful that the shrimp, you don't want to cook for too long because if it's cooked for a long period of time, it's going to become hard and it's not going to taste good at all. By the same token, we do not want it to be raw or chewy either. So as you can see, I have the jumbo shrimp and the lobster in here. And then we are going to let it cook for a little bit. I'm going to bring it to a boil and then we we'll let it simmer for a couple more minutes and that's it. You can see how awesome the sauce looks and wait till you know the shrimp and the lobster are cooked and we plate it and give it a taste. So I'm going to reduce the heat now and I'm going to keep on boiling it. I'm just going to let it simmer and cook for a few minutes and then we're going to plate the item. Now you can see that the shrimp are beginning to cook and so is the lobster. You can see this lobster here. And the lobster was, you know, for the most part cooked, not completely but almost, when I had boiled it in salt water for about seven minutes prior to taking it out of the tail, the shell, and cutting it into small bite-sized pieces. By now, in the, you know, about a cup of white wine that was in there, that has also started to reduce and blend in with the tomato sauce and the heavy cream and the shrimp and lobster broth that I had made. So I think it's good. We are done. Looks awesome. So I'm going to plate this and then give it a taste. So what again we have been making is shrimp and lobster bisque with a twist. Turn the heat off. I want to make sure that I get both the shrimp and the lobster. So I'm going to pour some of this luxurious sauce on top, rich with butter and cream and wine and all the herbs. And then I'm going to wipe this off, the little drops, make it look pretty. And then I'm going to sprinkle the rest of the herbs, the oregano and all that on top. Then I'm going to eat it with a toast, with a bread toast. So there we have it lobster and shrimp bisque with a twist. And now I'm going to give it a taste. I know it's hot, so I have to be very careful not to burn myself. I'll give it a couple of minutes.
Oh my God, the shrimp is perfectly cooked, not under, not over. Tastes awesome. And I'm gonna taste a little bit of the lobster to see if that's cooked properly. So here's the lobster tail meat. I'm telling you guys, this is awesome, awesome food. It tastes it's so wholesome, it's good, especially in the winter months. You can't, you know, this is the gourmet meal that anyone can make at home. So, lobster bisque with shrimp for you. And bon appetit. Thank you. Please don't forget to click on like and subscribe to my video Gastro Guru on YouTube channel. Thank you so much.